What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write a similarity statement for right triangles. So as you can see, we have a right triangle right here, right, X, Y, Z. And as you can see, I also drew a line right here, which is known as an altitude. And an altitude is simply a straight line that goes from a vertex, from an angle, to the opposite side, and it hits that opposite side at a 90 degree angle, okay? Now, when you draw an altitude, that basically creates three similar triangles, right? So we have the first original big triangle, right, X, Y, Z. So let's just draw that guy for reference, all right? So we have this big triangle, and it's a right triangle, right? X, Y, Z. But now we also have two other triangles. So we have a triangle right here. You can think of it as the medium-sized triangle. So it basically goes from W, Y to Z, right? W, Y to Z, and I'm drawing it in blue. So the medium triangle uh, is this guy right here, but I'm not gonna label him yet because as you can see, uh, this one is not oriented the same as this one, right? This one, as you can see, is drawn something like that. But then this one I just drew to match this one on the left, okay? So we can't label it quite yet. And then the last triangle that we have here, is this small triangle, the smallest triangle. So on the big triangle over here, it goes from X to Y to W, right? These right here. And we know since we have a right angle right here, we must also have a right angle right here. Okay, and again, I'm gonna flip it so it matches the big red one. So we're gonna draw it in just like that. But again, we're not gonna label it quite yet, okay? so. Now that we have the three triangles drawn down here, now let's label the medium and the small one, okay? So with the medium one, the blue one, again, that was just this guy right here. As you can see, all the right angles are on the bottom left, so we can draw those in for the medium and the small triangle here. Okay, so you can see that on this blue triangle, the right angle is labeled as W. So we're gonna label the right angle down here as W as well. Okay, now as you can see, the shortest side of the triangle goes from W to Y. So this short side must go from W to Y. And then we have our third angle over here, which is just Z. So then this missing, this last one, this missing one must be Z, okay? Now, lastly, and uh, let's just clean that up one more time to make it a little cleaner. So then we have our last triangle, the little one right here, okay? And as we know, we said that this was the right angle, okay? So since the right angle over here is at W, that means this right angle, we have to label it as W, okay? Now over here, you can see the short side goes from W to X, right? So the short side of this triangle must also go from W to X. And then we have the last angle over here that we haven't used, which is Y. So the last angle over here must also be Y, okay? So now that we have our three triangles set up, now we can write our similarity statement. So we can say that, and I'll write it up here, triangle X, Y, Z, right? X, Y, Z is congruent to triangle or similar to triangle YWZ, right? Triangle YWZ, and that's congruent to the last triangle, which is XWY. So triangle XWY. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.